Welcome to our online English class. In today's class, we are going to learn the first lesson of third unit that is five detectives. Who is a detective? A person who investigates and solve a crime is a detective. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about five detectives. I'm sure it's going to be an interesting class. Before starting the class, let's see the pictionary given in your textbook. After reading the pictionary, we'll continue reading the first paragraph. Now, I need you all to take your textbook and be ready to start the class. Come on. Students, take page number 70 and read the pictionary along with me. Wax work, a lifestyle dummy made of wax. Magician, a person who performs magic tricks. Disguise, to make a person look different to hide his or her identity. Chit, a short note on a piece of paper. Statue, a human made figure of a person or an animal that is life size or larger. Students, take page number 71 and read the first paragraph along with me. It was a sunny afternoon. After a long time in Uti, Arul and Amuda were sitting on the balcony. The last three vacations were very exciting for them as they were involved in solving three mysterious cases in the city. They were missing their friends Srijit, Jesse and Farooq. As we have read in the title, it's about five detectives. Now, let's know the five main characters in this chapter. They are Arul, Amuda, Srijit, Jesse and Farooq. So these are the five detectives. Arul and Amuda were sitting in the balcony. They have spent the last three vacations in Uti. They miss their friends, other three friends, Srijit, Jesse and Farooq. They have solved many mysterious cases in Uti. And let's see what they are going to do in this summer vacation. Come on, let's read the second paragraph now. They call themselves the Five Detectives or 5D. They were famous in Uti for their courage and skill. The police appreciated 5D for their admirable acts. Amuda and Arul missed Pablo. Pablo was Srijit's dog. He played an important role in solving the mysteries. They call themselves five detectives. They have solved many mysterious cases in Uti, so they were well known in the city of Uti, and even the police has appreciated them. They call themselves as 5D. 5D means five detectives. Srijit had a dog named Pablo. This Pablo played an important role in helping them to find and solve the mysteries. Now, after a week, what happened in these children's life? That's what we are going to see in the next page. Come on, let's continue reading. Students, take page number 72. After a week, Srijit, Jesse, Farooq and Pablo came to Amuda and Arul's house. Pablo was jumping with joy and continuously wagging his tail. I am very happy to see you all, Arul. Now we can all head to solve a mystery. It will make our vacation interesting. Srijit, mystery? Did something happen in the town while I was gone? Arul, no Sri, nothing at all. Amuda urged that they all would go to the town's fair. 
she told them about different games magicians and most importantly the wax works a studio with many wax figures after a lot of pestering everyone agreed to go on their way back they saw inspector velayadam on his bike he was the inspector of the area inspector velayadam has been very busy these days said amuda this made the group curious about what was happening in the city that they had no clue at all after a week shrijit jessi farooq and the dog they all met amuda and arul in their house they are very excited to meet together so now arul said so we have all met together in this summer vacation we have to think something and we have to solve a mystery so while they are talking amuda insisted them that they have a fair in the town amuda said that they have to go to the fair they had games magicians and most importantly they had a wax museum she said amuda wanted her friends to go along with her to see the fair but her friends they were not much interested as amuda was pestering them a lot they decided to go along with her to the fair so they went to the fair they all enjoyed the fair while they are returning back they met the inspector velayadam on the way seeing them arul said nowadays our inspector was very busy so this word immediately made the children think now let's see whether the children were able to find the mystery in the city students now let's read what happened on monday as jessy went to ask permission to her father who was a secret police agent to meet her friends she overheard her father talking on the phone about a robbery that was expected to take place in the museum jessy rushed to see her friends in the morning and told them what she had heard srijit oh now i know what inspector velai them is up to jessy let us solve this case before he does srijit i feel we will find more clues if we are near the city area we will also be able to observe more things i will disguise myself as that old man we saw on the street that monday jessy's father was a secret police agent jessy went to her her father's room to get permission to meet her friends when jessy went to her father's room she overheard her father's conversation in phone he was talking about a robbery which is going to happen in the museum hearing this jessy ran to her friends and she said them about what she heard now shrijit said i will disguise disguise means dress okay i will disguise myself as a old man whom i we have seen in the street everyone agreed to it shrijit dressed as the old man and he sat on the old man's bench coughed and sniffed like him no one could recognize shrijit soon a man on a cycle came and sat next to shrijit he said where have you been since yesterday take this the man handed over a packet of chocolate to shrijit and went away as they have discussed shrijit dressed like the old man and he sat on the bench where the old man used to sit while he was sitting another man he came in a cycle and he asked why have you been since yesterday and that man gave this shrijit who was disguised as a old man a packet of chocolate now let's see what shrijit did let's continue reading 
Shrijit took the packet and kept it in his pocket. He saw the real old man coming in his direction from the other side. He also saw Inspector Velayudam rushing out of a shop towards him. Farooq and Jessie were watching all this from afar. They got worried and rushed with Pablo towards the inspector. Pablo ba- started barking and jumping on the inspector. The inspector was annoyed with the dog. Shrijit saw it as a chance to run from there. He hid in a bush nearby. Inspector Velayudam ran towards the actual old man and caught him. Then he asked him to give the chocolate to him. The old man was puzzled. Inspector investigated the old man and found nothing with him. Shrijit took the packet of chocolate and he kept it in his pocket. While he was sitting there, he saw the actual old man who used to sit in the bench coming from far away. At the meantime, he saw the inspector who was coming out of a shop. Seeing all this, Farooq and Jessie, they tried to distract the inspector with their dog. The dog went and he barked and he tried to distract the inspector. Meanwhile, this Shrijit, he just ran from the place and he hid behind a bush. The inspector caught the real old man and he inquired about him about the packet of sweets. But that old man, he was not aware of the sweets because the sweet packet was received by Shrijit. So the inspector, he completely investigated and he checked the old man and he came to a conclusion there's nothing with him. Now let's see what did the children got in that sweet packet. While this was happening, the 5D gathered in Jesse's garage. They opened the packet to find a small chit. They opened it and found a list of grocery. They were very confused. Amuda, Shri, it is a code. Shri Jit, Yes, it seems so. Amuda, I wonder that it is written in some kind of a magic pen like the one you showed us. Jesse, it could be. When we show it under a light, we can see the writing. Jesse got the magic pen. They flashed the light on the paper and some words glowed on it. The message said, Till number 3, Wax Works. Tuesday 9 p.m. number 5. Now the children took the packet and they went to Jesse's garage. And they opened the sweet packet and they found a slip with grocery list. So they were wondering, it's only grocery list. And why, what is very surprising in that? While they are thinking, the children, they thought and they decided it might be written in a magic pen. So they took the magic pen and they lit and they tried to find out what was written, what was really written in the paper. Finally, they got some clue. It's about tell number 3, 9 p.m. Museum Tuesday. So with these clues, they decided that something is going to happen in the museum. Now, let's read ahead to know what is going to happen in that museum and how these children are going to stop it. Come on. Arul, tomorrow is Tuesday, so the gang is meeting tomorrow. While they sat in the garden, Inspector Velayudam saw Shrijit dressed as the old man. He was furious. Then Shrijit had to confess. He handed over the chit to the inspector. The inspector was glad to have found the chit but was furious about their behavior. He warned them to stay away from the case but they didn't. Arul said the next day the robbers are going to meet. While they were sitting in the garden, Inspector Velayudam, he saw the children. He came near them and he asked, why Shrijit was dressed like an old man. So Shrijit said all the truth to him and he gave the chit. Though the inspector was happy that the children did a good job, he warned the children not to interfere in the case. 
inspector warned the children to stay out of the case and now let's see whether the children stop their investigation come on let's read the next paragraph now shrijit's idea was to disguise himself as a wax statue as it will be the most easy way to get all the information that evening all of them went to wax works they observed each wax statue and noted down details while getting out of wax works shrijit unlocked one of the windows in the room though the inspector asked them to stay out of the case shrijit he thought of a new idea he decided to disguise himself as a wax statue that will be the best way to find the robber so that evening all the children they went to the wax museum they took note of each wax statues while returning from the wax museum shrijit unlocked a window in that room dear students now we'll stop our class here next week we'll see whether the children were able to find the mystery till that you have to wait today's homework is posted here you just look to it and do your homework without fail write your homework and send to us on time by the way it's time to wind up today's class i'll meet you all in my next class until then it's bye from me